everyone, my name is Jeff and in this video we're going to step through using XML to customize the start menu and taskbar layouts rather than go through the sysprep copy profile process. As you know, the start menu and taskbar can be kind of cluttered following a fresh installation of Windows or even a deployment or new profile. What we're going to do is follow this Microsoft guide to get some XML for the start menu and then customize it to include the, the taskbar. Now we'll have the link for this site in our video description. What we're going to do is start with exporting our start menu and then we're going to take that XML and then add a couple of things from this page to customize the taskbar. Now I've already gone ahead and made a little cheat sheet for us with the namespace that we're going to add and then the snippet of code that's going to customize the taskbar. And you can see these are just paths to the, the links that I want to have for Outlook, Chrome, and File Explorer. And again, there's a lot of information on this page that I invite you to go check out, but for the sake of uh, speediness, we'll, uh, we'll skip over it for now. So the first thing I'm going to do is customize my start menu. And I don't work this fast, I promise. This is a sped up video. All right. So all I want is the Microsoft Office tiles and Chrome, and then I'll let my users do the rest. And because we're going to use XML, I don't need to bother with uh, setting my taskbar tiles. Now I'm just going to go to PowerShell and then export my start menu layout to get the XML I want to edit. And to do that, we're going to run export start layout and give it a path, and we'll throw it into a temp file and call it layout modification. XML. And this is a pretty quick process, so let's go see what this XML looks like. All right, so you can see we've got a big chunk of text here where you can see the office tiles that uh, I have organized in the columns and the rows that they're in. Now, and at the top, we have the namespaces that were automatically included from the exporting our start menu layout. What we need to do is add the namespace for the taskbar. And uh, there's, let's see, there's three. What we can do, we'll just go to the end and right before this closing bracket, paste right what we took from the, uh, the Microsoft's guide. Next, we'll go back to my cheat sheet. And here's the snippet that I customized ahead of time with the paths to the tiles that I want in the taskbar. And what we do is, right before the last line, insert it, and then that's it. And you can see that this is really, it, it seems like it's, it's kind of complicated, but what you can steal from that, that guide, all you need to do is just add these paths, and, and then you're good to go. We'll save, and one thing I like to do to make sure that uh, I didn't make a mistake is reopen this in uh, Edge because if it's blank, that, that's a good indication that you uh, made a mistake and the XML is not going to load and you're not going to have the customized layouts that you want. But we can see our uh, information here. Everything that we inserted is there. It's loading correctly. So all we need to do now is copy this file to a spot where Windows will read it and apply it. So it's in users, default, app data, local, Microsoft, Windows, shell. And again, uh, we'll have step-by-step -step instructions for you uh, in our knowledge base, a link to our knowledge base in the video description. So don't worry if you feel like we're going too fast. All we have to do is copy this file here and we're set. We don't even need to do sysprep to test it. We can just go create a new user profile right now. And we'll log on as this new user. It's going to provision a new profile, and then we should see the layout that we want. We'll call it layout test. It won't need a password. And we can switch user profiles real easy. And then I'll speed this up so we don't have to wait for the profile to provision. And then, boom, just like that, we have our icons like we want them. Let's check the start menu. Perfect. And that's it. This is a great alternative to jumping through the hoops for a copy profile and sysprep, especially if this is all you need to do. And if you combine this with a group policy, something to set the wallpaper, and you know, group policy can do all kinds of things for you, this is a great way to avoid the headaches of copy profile and Windows 10. 
And that's it. I hope this was a helpful video and leave us any comments if you have any questions and otherwise I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.